Hi everyone. I hope you're having a great Thursday and everything is going well with you and your family. And as we always do when we start these devotions, if you're not having a great Thursday, I pray what we talk about today will help give you a turn. How's that? We hope you'll put a maybe put a peak in your week here. And uh, you know, if things aren't going so well, we're going to have some prayer and maybe share some things here that'll help turn things around for you. So what we're doing is we're just coming to you with a devotion every day, just time of encouragement. Uh, I take Thursdays, and there's other pastors that are doing other days in the week. So I'm going to post this on our church website as well as our uh, Be the Church uh, Facebook page. So <clears throat> if you would, just feel free to share that. Uh, let us know you're there. Give us a thumbs up. It just helps us know that we're communicating and being a blessing to you. And hopefully you can share it. Pass this on to someone else. So today, my thought and idea is, I, what's the hurry? Have you ever thought about that? Has anyone ever asked you that? What's your hurry? What's the rush? In other words, they're asking you, why do you seem to be going so fast or trying to get so many things done? Now, the reality is you and I are busier now than we've ever been, right? But even though, you know, I was told that these right here would free up a lot of my time. Yeah, it didn't work for you either, did it? It seems like we're more in a hurry today than ever before. But there's one thing that you'll never see Jesus doing, and that's getting in a hurry. I think you agree with me on that. He just was never in a rush. And there's a passage of scripture that I love. It's in John chapter 11, verse 1. Of course, this is this passage of scripture that's talking about the death of Lazarus. And so it just begins John chapter 11, verse 1. Now, a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of uh, Mary and her sister Martha. <clears throat> this Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sister sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. So Jesus really loved Lazarus. They had a really strong relationship together as friends. Verse 4, when he heard this, Jesus said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's son may be glorified through it. Now, <clears throat> Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. And then he said to his disciples, Let's go back to Judea. Anybody catch that? When he heard that Lazarus was sick, he waited two more days. He didn't get in a hurry. You know, I, I mean, he's not on our timetable. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, Jesus never... So his best friend, he, he hears he's sick, right? He hears it, and he waits two more days, and it takes him two days to get there. So we know when he gets there, Lazarus has been dead for four days, right? So here's his best friend is sick. He's a mile and a half away, and it takes him four days to get there. <laughs> you get the picture, don't you? Now, you and I <clears throat> would be giving him advice. We'd be saying, come on, let's go. Hurry up. You know, why, what's your hurry? Let, let's get in a hurry. Let, let's, let's get there. But you see what Jesus said was he knew. See, Jesus, is he's God. He knows what's going to happen. He says this sickness will not end in death, but it's going to involve death, right? I mean, it takes a turn that Mary and Martha really didn't think it was going to be taken. They thought Jesus was going to get there just in time, heal Lazarus, and everything would be over. But you know, sometimes things take a turn in our lives that we didn't expect, and we didn't look for, and we didn't ask for, and we wish somebody would have been in a hurry to get to us and to answer our prayer, to meet our need and take care of our stuff, right? And so here Jesus is. He shows up, and I love the old Southern Gospel song that says, when he's four days late... He's actually just on time. <clears throat> you see, that's his timing. So Jesus didn't get in a hurry. He goes and he sees Mary and Martha. He notices they're weeping, they're crying, as any family will when they lose a loved one. We certainly understand that. But then Jesus basically says, take me where he is. Now the rest of the story is Jesus goes to the grave and he resurrects Lazarus. He brings him back from the grave. I mean, he raises him. It's a resurrection. It's new life. And the reason we know or shouldn't be surprised at that is because Jesus says right here in verse 4, before anyone went to Bethany, before every, anyone saw the condition that Mary and Martha was in as they were weeping and mourning, Jesus told them, this sickness <clears throat> will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's Son may be glorified through it. So in other words, the reason Jesus was delayed, the reason he wasn't in a hurry, the reason Lazarus had to go experienced some things that he probably rather wouldn't have until he got to heaven uh, 
is because Jesus said this is going to bring glory not to Lazarus, not to Mary, not to Martha, not to anyone else, not to Judaism, but it's going to bring glory to God's Son, to me. It'll show who I am. So you see, guys, that's one of the things that helps us take a long-term perspective. Some of the things you and I face right now, it's for His glory. It's because He's doing some things in your life that, you know, you may wonder what it is now, but if you'll trust Him and you'll hang on, and it may, not, it may seem like He's not in a hurry, He's going to bring about His glory and something for your good. So whatever it is you're experiencing today, I want you to trust the Lord. Just trust Him. Know that He's got this. I, that's a good phrase. God's got this. Jesus has got this. Let's just learn to trust Him more, okay? I hope that's a blessing to you today. I'm going to ask you if you would just to share this video with someone. Maybe call and let them know that you've just listened to something that's encouraged you and uh, pass this on, okay? I want to have a word of prayer. Let's pray for our pastors and congregations in our community, and I'm going to pray for you too, okay? Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day, <clears throat> for the blessings that you give us every single day. Lord, we want to tell you how much we love you how much we praise you today. Uh, I, I pray for the ones who are listening right now. Maybe there's some discouragement. Maybe there's some difficulties they've experienced they're going through. I pray you'll minister to that need right now. Father, I pray for our pastors here in our community, our congregations. Lord, would you help us reach our community with the good news of Jesus Christ? I pray, Lord, for encouragement, for blessings and strength for every believer in our county. God, we love you. And we just want to lift up your name, the name of your son, Jesus, and tell you how much we love you today. We ask all this now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great Thursday.